everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to make fried jalapeno stuffed shrimp with Cajun fries. This was really delicious, so let's get started with the video. We're gonna begin by hollowing out 8 jalapenos. Cut off the stem and then cut out the inside. When you're finished, rinse the inside of your jalapenos to make sure you've gotten everything out. Once you've finished rinsing your jalapenos, dry them off. When you've finished drying your jalapenos, set them to the side. Now we're going to deshell and devein 8 pieces of shrimp, while leaving the tail on the shrimp. Once you've peeled and deveined your shrimp, go ahead and place them inside a bowl. Next, season your shrimp. I season my shrimp with pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Old Bay, and Cajun seasoning. Toss your shrimp in the bowl to make sure each piece of shrimp is well coated in your seasonings. When you're finished, set your shrimp to the side. Now we can begin assembling our jalapeno stuffed shrimp. Using a knife, add cream cheese inside your jalapeno. Then, place as much of the shrimp as you can inside your jalapeno. Repeat this process until you've stuffed all of your jalapenos. When you finish stuffing your jalapenos, set them to the side. Next, pour a half a cup of buttermilk into a bowl. Then add one egg and beat your egg and buttermilk together until well combined. When you're finished, set your mixture to the side. Now, in a dish, Add some fish fry. Then add your seasonings. I added pepper, 
Cajun seasoning, and Old Bay. Then mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your mixture to the side. Now we're going to begin coating our jalapeno stuffed shrimp. First, coat your jalapeno stuffed shrimp in your buttermilk mixture. Then, coat it in your fish fry mixture. Once it is coated, set it to the side. Repeat this process until all your jalapeno stuffed shrimp are coated. Now that you've coated all your jalapeno stuffed shrimp, we can start frying them. Fill a deep fryer or a pot with vegetable oil. Heat your oil up to 375 degrees. Once your oil is hot, go ahead and fry your jalapeno stuffed shrimp. Fry your jalapeno stuffed shrimp for about 2-3 to three minutes or until golden brown. When everything is finished frying, place it on a paper towel covered plate or on a cooling rack. Oh, and let me tell you, these smelled amazing coming out of the fryer. Repeat this process until you've fried all your jalapeno stuffed shrimp. Once you finish frying your jalapeno stuffed shrimp, we're going to go ahead and make a sauce for the jalapeno stuffed shrimp and for our Cajun fries. In a small bowl, add a half a cup of mayonnaise, one or one half teaspoon of mustard, one teaspoon of lemon juice, half a tablespoon of Old Bay hot sauce or regular hot sauce, and 1 4th teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Mix everything together until well combined. I don't usually measure when I'm making the sauce, everything was just like an estimated guess, but make sure you adjust the sauce to your taste. Once you've finished making your sauce, set it to the side and begin making your Cajun fries. In a small bowl, add 1 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, 1 teaspoon of seasoned salt, 1 fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and 1 fourth teaspoon of smoked paprika. Mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your seasoning mixture to the side. Cook some fries in the oven or in an air fryer and then place them inside a large bowl. Pour some of your seasoning mixture over your fries and then toss the fries in the seasonings until everything is well coated. When you're finished, you can go ahead and start plating everything up.
and this is the finished result. This is a really simple recipe, it's very easy to make, and it was delicious. Like I said before, they smelled so good. I had to keep myself from eating all the Cajun fries because they tasted really good, especially with the sauce. I got the idea to make these fried jalapeno stuffed shrimp from a TikTok I saw, so I'll have the link to that down in the description. When I saw the TikTok, I thought it looked delicious, so I just had to make it. Overall, this dish is easy, simple, and delicious. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!